I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I, I, I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I, I, I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. Hello, guys, it's all full. Oh. Thank you for coming through. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, thank you. Thank you, um, I'm, I'm Nolks, for introducing us. I'm with my partner in crime, Hello. the beautiful Mikkel. This was uncoordinated, by yes, the way. No, Completely totally uncoordinated. Chance. You can it's see we're on the same <laughs> wavelength, but you guys look amazing. They look amazing. They look so fresh. Cool. And this is our beautiful model, the famous Shamane Blennies, who has agreed to sit for us and use this beautiful canvas to showcase and demystify a lot of things around makeup, because sometimes we tend to complicate things and they really, really are so simple. So any questions you guys have for us, please prepare them in advance. This is a demarcated safe space. Mm -hmm. So whatever beauty things we discuss here, they safe. I'm not gonna tell, I'm not gonna tell anyone. Ne? Cool. So perfect. So I'm gonna sit here because I'm gonna enjoy this just as yes, much as, as they are. And then we're gonna just interact, ask some questions. If you guys have any questions, we'll get to it just a little bit later. But I yeah. think take it away, Luco. Okay, ladies, I'm gonna ask you guys, how do you pick your foundation? What are you looking for in a foundation? Long long, long way? Yeah? Coverage. Coverage. Longevity, yes. Mattifying, if you have an oily skin. I think for me, it's very important that a foundation solves issues. It solves pr uh, problems. If you have a drier skin, you definitely need a foundation or everything you use on your skin it needs to be replenishing that moisture barrier. If you have an oily skin like me, you need something that will keep that oil at bay. So skin type is very important. It's question number one. It's not like, oh, hey, friend, what are you using? And like, oh, I'm using this. Oh, I'm going to go buy it as well. Meanwhile, your friend has different skin type than you. And now you are sitting there. Now the foundation is cracking under your eyes. And you're like, it doesn't look the same as, as it did, my friends, because you weren't catering to the needs of your particular skin. So I always say there's a few questions we need to ask. Um, I'm looking at the timer here because I can go on and on and talk. But as long as we're sharing knowledge here, that's what we're here for. So texture, what are you looking for? You're looking for a liquid, a powder, a cream, a gel, a mousse. Question number one. Two, or rather, what does my skin need? Question number two, how much coverage am I looking for? Do I have beautiful skin and then I'm going to pile a liter of foundation every morning? Meanwhile, I have beautiful skin. I really have not, nothing to hide. So coverage, we're thinking, is it light? to medium, medium to full, medium buildable, or full coverage. And then after we have applied it, we get to the finish. What does it look like after I've applied it? Is it hydrating? Is it like a, a gleamy, dewy finish? Is it a natural matte finish? Is it like a, a satin skin-like, or is it like matte? And South Africa is matte. Yo, you see, guys, I can't. <laughs> it's so funny, because I'd be like doing like, um, Master classes throughout the country, but it's so nice to see and interesting to observe different types of beauty with different cities. I'm from Durban, so I can talk about my people. So my Durbanites will wear everything all at once. Cut crisp, green, blue, yellow, foundation, blasted, highlighter. Uh, everything all at once. Joburg is different. Joburg, right now we're going through what we call the clean girl aesthetic. You know, so it's very, very demure, but layered, but layered, Mindful, yeah. but soft. It's like it's a, it's a trickery, you know? And then we went back and we rediscovered the 90s lip liner. Um, thank goodness it's not black this time. It's like a bit brown, nice and a bright um, 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 lip on the center and then a nice gloss. Very easy on the eye, um, very feathered brow. You go to Cape Town, Cape Town... It's easy breezy. Everyone is just like, they look like they're just going to Camps Bay for the bidet. Very almost like, um, maybe like skin tint. They're not too heavy on the foundation. Very light, dewy um, cream blushes. Soft nude, very easy, very not so put on. But one thing that is beautiful about makeup is that we express our personalities through it. One day you'll be like, you know what, I feel very like boss girl energy, I'm gonna rock my red lip, liquid liner, skin, little highlighter, 
ngibangeni. And then tomorrow you're like, oh, I feel a little grunge. I'm going to do like a burgundy, smoky eye and a nude lip and just sculpt my skin. So it really, really serves to convey how we're feeling. So today we are discussing Color Stay Foundation. I hope you guys know all about Color Stay Foundation, right? Me beautiful, flexible formula with technology that we call Adaptive Flex. Adaptive Flex ensures that the foundation moves with the skin. It doesn't settle into fine lines. It doesn't crease during the day. When we move from the bright lights and we move into like a more air-conditioned room, it adapts to that. So we call that life-proof. It's life-proof. It moves with that. So we're going to be working with that formula. So here, we have two different formulas. So we have your normal to dry, which is powered by hyaluronic acid. And we know hyaluronic acid is all, it's a humectant. So that means it pulls moisture from the air. So it plumps the skin and hydrates the skin. And then we have the combo oily. So that is me. Like I feel like you can mine oil on my face and sell it. And yeah, so here we have, <laughs> so here we have vitamin E. Vitamin E, we know that it nourishes the skin. It also helps to detox the skin. And that's the beautiful thing I've seen with makeup um, in recent times, that it's not only about getting Insta ready and um, photo ready, but it's a gift that keeps on giving. As you are looking stunning, it really helps to, f to feed and nourish the skin and take care. So we're having all of these skin caring ingredients in the product. And one thing you'll know is that when you see the word color stay, be it in a mascara, be it in a foundation, be it in a lip, you know that you get, you're guaranteed 16 to 24 hour wear. Nah? So okay. Luko, yes. Luko, you said that there's hyaluronic acid yes. and there's vitamin E, which is skincare benefits, right? Yes. It's what we would use in our general skincare. Does that mean that we don't have to do skincare before we apply makeup? Oh, we always do. You know, always we always, do. I always say beautiful makeup starts with great skincare because we do, maybe the dream is like to wake up one day not having to worry about covering your shubabas and things and pigmentation and stuff and just go buy bread. But no, we have to like oh, touch up here and there, my dark under eye because like I look like I haven't slept, you know. So skincare, makeup does not replace skincare, yeah. but this is just like an added bonus, exactly. you know. Exactly, 100%. Okay, guys, tell me, how are you guys applying your foundation? What tools are you using? Oh, and everyone, yo, Joburg. That was the, it's the workout. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, trust me, I'm not mad. I'm just, I'm, a, I'm such a brush boy. I feel like there's a brush for everything. But I love when I'm applying concealer because concealer places the product and it doesn't move, especially when you're trying to brighten and sculpt and place product. So I feel like with brushes, you have more control. A brush gives you more control. Also, I'm sure you guys go through three foundations a month because like sponges will soak your foundation. You know, you go like, and it goes like, how, there's a, a uh, large speaking amount. Of, speaking of sponges, some of you guys need to throw your beauty blenders out. Yeah, y'all don't wash ones. those. Y'all don't wash those. Because that also affects the skincare, <laughs> yes, right? it does. We always have to be very hygienic um, about that. So before we apply, I'm going to tell you what, you, what we've done here. So you can't see. We did a very soft, just for the sake of time. We did a beautiful soft brown uh, up eyebrow because Chaminade didn't need much. She already has a full brow. So we use our brow fantasy. If you guys haven't seen it, it's part gel. And then on the other side, we have the pencil. On the eyes, we used a palette called Maverick, very easy. Mix two bronzes, a deep one, and one that's a bit of a gold. Keep it easy breezy. On the skin, we used our Grip Primer, because before we apply foundation, we need to prime. I always say not to prime is a crime. Yeah, no, definitely. No, primer is very important. Primer helps to smooth the surface of the skin. Primer helps to hold and improve the longevity of your foundation. And also, for example, like um, when you're talking about skin types, and we have, I have an oily skin, so oily skins are prone to breakouts, one. Um, and when breakouts heal, sometimes they leave a little bit of a dips, and you know, so it helps to retexturize the skin. Or we have enlarged pores. And then when you apply foundation over your nose and you don't have some primer, it sits on there and you can count them like, oh, there are my pores. One, two, three, four, five. 
You know, so we don't want that. So we need to prime. So we've started with the primer. We're going to go in with the normal dry in toast. I'm literally just going to work it around the face. And that's when you know, guys, when you found the perfect match. Beautiful foundation is an extension of your skin. You don't know where it starts, you don't know where it ends. It's just like this beautiful flow when you're doing your sculpting and brightening. Always blend, because what we see is like, oh, you look beautiful, you know, it's like color, line, color, line, color, line. <laughs> we don't blend, we just, hoy, hoy. You know, like, guys, why, why do we contour? I don't know. YouTube, <laughs> you know, we'll get there, because that's when we are playing with lighting and shadowing. Where we place shadow, we cause that area to recede, therefore giving us more of a sculpt. So that's why they call us shape shifters, because we shift and you go to the bathroom with a round face, you come back, you look like a skeleton, because you're busy shaping things. So I am just warming up the perimeters of the face and just blending. Do you see? I mean, she needs, not, she doesn't need much. So I'm not gonna overwhelm the skin with products, especially now it's spring, summer. And as we've seen with international trends, it's literally part foundation, part uh, moisturizer, skin that breathes. We want to look like we live on veggies and water. Meanwhile, we know that mimosa is waiting for us outside. <laughs> so my technique with brushes is literally side to side, up and down and diagonal. And that helps to spread the product evenly and just allows it to vanish into the skin. Luko. Hey. So, you know, when we go and we buy brushes all yes. the time, there's a list and there's an array of different brushes. Now, we're obviously not taking an entire kit to do a little simple face paint. Yeah. What would you suggest our three top brushes to use or to take with us that will basically be able to complete a full face beat? I think we need one that handles nice, dense brush for foundation. Okay. One that doesn't soak a product so you can double it for a powder. Okay. No? Two, I love, for example, I'm going to be a YouTuber and put this in front of me. <laughs> then you guys can <laughs> subscribe to my channel and follow me. Um, so I, I love a very, almost like tapered brush because this I can use for concealer. I can use to sculpt. I can use for highlighter. I can use maybe to set product if I've done concealer over the eye. So I feel like this one is such a flexible. Who are we competing with outside? I'm joking. I'll just project <laughs> a bit more. So uh, <laughs> Nolly's killing me over there. So this is a flexible brush. And I think maybe an angle. But I literally can do a full makeup with these. And then I'll say maybe a eyeshadow blending brush. A fluffy, yes, fluffy. Yes, nice and fluffy. Because nice. you have control, because they're usually domey at the top there. Yeah. So you can literally go in on the crease and then dab something bright and sparkly on the center of the eye and then apply a bit of a highlight. So you can do a full makeup with three brushes. Okay. Ne? Perfect. Okay, so we are blending, guys. Always blend, blend, and once you're done blending, blend some more. Ne? Needs to be, I know you guys are doing in gym with the beauty sponges, but this is the ultimate um, 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 gym session. So if you notice, I have not applied product under the eye because we have SPF of 15 and sometimes we react to SPF around the eye and then we don't know this knowledge. We're like, why, why am I crying? It's the Revlon foundation. It is blinding me. Meanwhile, we are, uh, when I won't say we are allergic, but we react to SPF. Sometimes even skincare, you'll be doing your eye cream don't move it all the way to the waterline. Keep it on the orbital bone. And as you blink, the product transfers and travels to those areas. Ne? Go. Any questions so far, guys? I told you I can yeah, talk. Yeah, let's take, let's take yes. a, a question in, in the crowd. Who wants to ask a question? Does anyone have any questions? Here's one here. Hi. Hi, everyone. How's hey. it? Namukundo <laughs> here. Um, I just wanted to ask you, when is the best time to actually go to a clicks and look for your foundation to make sure it's, you know, you don't look like a ghost when you're taking a photo? I think, I mean, any time of the day, especially with the cosmetics areas, it's very well lit, but always find the light. Find the light so you don't come back tomorrow and say, look, oh, you mismatched me. So, like, you know, I was gray the entire day, you know. So find the right light. 
but also just grab a little sample so that you can try it at home. But we have worked so hard to make sure that the light is even. So by the time we apply and you have a mirror in front of you, you can see the different three stripes of foundations and then pick the perfect one. Ne? So any time of the day. If, we're, if we were open at midnight, I would say midnight as well. Ne? Cool. I'm trying to find... Okay, cool. So next product. This is my concealer. This is the Colorstay Flexwear Full Cover Concealer. This came in and it was a game changer. Beautiful, hydrating um, formula, velvety texture, so it doesn't dry on the under eye. So we don't have to go through this all the time and fix. We want something that moves with the skin and doesn't settle into fine, eye, into fine lines. I'm going to show you um, um, tricks um, on how to get that perfect lifted look without overwhelming the under eye area. Remember the skin around the under eye is literally 10 times thinner than the rest of the face. That's why when we see the first signs of aging, we see them around the eye with the crow's feet and stuff. So it's just like, I need injections, no. So, <laughs> so I'm going to do two dots on the inner corner. Yeah, no look up, perfect. And the outer corner. Here we will get the coverage we're looking for, but also when we blend, we will move the product across the under eye area. Yes, question. Okay, is there a mic? Oh, yay, thank you. So uh, I saw that your, your foundations have skincare benefits yes. in them. Does your concealer have any skincare benefits? It is also powered by the hyaluronic acid. That's why it feels so comfortable around the... And there's also a bit of vitamin C in there. So with continued use, so this is Flexwear. We also have one called um, Skin Awaken 5-in-1 Concealer, which has your caffeine, your vitamin E, and vitamin C. So as with darker under eyes, over continued use, we'll see a bit more of a a difference um, in terms of the brighter, depth. Yes, right? a brighter, yeah. yeah, a brighter look. And we know caffeine increases blood circulation, so it helps with puffiness as well. Yes, I'm gonna try and work as I blend. I'm, I'm listening to you. Um, hello, everybody. My hey. name is Kofi Annan. Um, speaking about the concealer and like you know the under eye area. Yeah. I am somebody who has dark circles, mm -hmm. so often, even if I were to find a concealer that I feel works really well with my skin, um, with my skin tone, mm -hmm. I often find that like after some time, it doesn't really like, I don't know, it doesn't like sit the way that I'd want it to completely. Yeah. So does Revlon perhaps have um, color correctors or any other products that we can use to um, complement the concealer as well as the foundation? I actually love that yeah. color correcting. We don't have color correctors, but I use concealers, because our concealers can be very, very warm. So it's the warmth, that orange pigment, that cancels out darkness. For example, on your complexion, and if you have dark under eye, I would have started with a color called caramel. Caramel has, in the concealer, has quite a nice warm pigment. And then I come back, maybe with a, a deep or a medium deep, to give you that lifted look that you're looking for. Ne? So, so we don't have color correctors, but our concealers are able to. So a little bit of a hack as yes. well. I mean, I don't like wearing a full face of foundation all the time. We don't want to wake up and wear foundation every single day. What I really love about the Color Stay Concealers is that if you put it on your dark circles or a little like spot pigmentation, a pimple that you plopped and now it's like left a mark, put it on, leave it to dry, and then yeah. blend it out. And I promise you, you can leave the house looking like you have a full fresh of makeup and you're only wearing concealer. Definitely. And I think also that technique is very important when you are even layering your foundation. Allow it to sit for like nine, ten seconds. The more tacky it gets, is the more coverage you'll 100%, get. 100%. Yeah. Definitely. So we're just brightening the inner part. I'm fighting against the time. Seven minutes. Oh, you go. See, guys, we should have had a full hour to ourselves. This is like, <laughs> it's like a good talk. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm using um, that medium deep that we use underneath the eye. We call this the triangle of youth. So we were talking about light naturally landing on the skin. 
So we are usually also just warmer on the perimeters of the face and brighter on the inner part. So when we do things like contour and highlighting, we are replicating how light works on skin and then just making it more angular, more exaggerated. Where we place light, we push those features forward and where we add shadow, we cast almost like more depth into those areas. So that is why we contour and highlight in case anyone ever asks you. So like, no, the influencers, the YouTube makeup artists said I bo. <laughs> I bo. I'm an influencer. No, 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 no. No. Mikhail explains. If you watch Mikhail's, um, um, it's very educational. That's why I just want to grab some cop popcorn and just watch her videos. I'm just like, yes. That's what I always tell them. I'm glad someone it's also the thinks hacks, like the me. Hacks, the tips and tricks. Yeah. But you know what I love about what you're doing here? And I love, like, even though our time is almost up, I love that we're focusing on skin texture. Yes. You guys can go and learn how to do a cut eye crease and how to contour and everything, but it's all about the skin. Luco has been using probably that one brush the entire yeah. time and he's blending and blending Second and blending. Emotions. And also, learn to hold your brush like chopsticks because the only thing you can do... Uh, who's guilty here? I heard a... <laughs> yeah, because when you hold it like this, the only thing you can do is move the product you've applied. But if you hold it from the end of the brush, you're using the bristles to massage the product into what you've already applied. Now we were just buffing the concealer into the foundation and it looks seamless. I'm gonna do a very quick contour. So we will use, let me make it a little graphic for you guys. I'm gonna use Nutmeg, which is, has more of a neutral undertone, which means it has a bit more of a pink. Cause what we do sometimes is that we use very warm um, um, concealers to sculpt and then we look burnt. And that's not what we want. So we want a very cool, naturalistic contour. So I'm gonna place that also now, with concealer and with contouring, oh, I'm going back to 2016 makeup now. I was just going to ask. A terrible time in our contouring. history. Yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely. Now, in terms of trends, everything is moving up. It's makeup that gives you almost like a face lift. So back in the day, we would do a contour, tra which was a line traveling from the corner of the ear towards the corner of the mouth. But now, it pulled the face down. Even when we were applying blush, it's no longer that smile and just like breath on the apple of the cheek because you're not going to walk around like this the entire time. So now when you relax, it pulls the face down. Now we're putting everything on the cheekbone and lifting everything. So we have that almost like that lifted look. Luco, when, hey. we, when we are looking for a, con uh, a contour to contour, how dark should we go? from our actual foundation color? It really, really depends on the look that you're going for. If you want more of a natural um, 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 looking contour, one that looks like it belongs to you, I'd say two shades lower. But sometimes we want to be snatched. We want to be chiseled. So I'd say three shades, but always, always blend. Ne? <gasps> Hey. So, oh my God, am I out of time? We're almost out of time. Okay. But I actually have two amazing hampers to give away yeah. from Revlon. They're For worth those who are listening. <laughs> over a thousand rand each. So you guys are lucky. You're going to go and play when you guys are home. So let me see. Um, what are the two skincare benefits in the foundation? <laughs> Just first. Um, so we have the vitamin E. Yes. And then in the... Sorry? Oh. Um, and then in the other one, I want to say hyaluronic, but I'm... Yes! yes. <laughs> Give her a round of applause. Well done. Yes. Yeah. You I'm are listening. I'm listening. I'm just blending my life away right now. <laughs> and then one more question. Um, I don't know who of you have been to our stand. If you have not been to our stand, I'm very disappointed. But we have a new lipstick that is on our stand. And I wanted to know from you guys, is it a matte or is it a gloss? It's a matte. Sorry? It's a matte, yes. Wait, there, there we have... Oh, oh, I'm glad I'm not in charge of this part because I always get into trouble. <laughs> I'm just going to be out here blending. <laughs> Was she first? Was she first? Sorry, you can come to me afterwards. She was. Thank you so much. We love you all, guys. <laughs> but before we wrap, so I'm just sitting with powder right now. I'm using the Color Stay Powder in Translucent. Not all over the face, because we like it when we turn and we get a bit of that glisten. It says health. It says hydration. So we never want to overwhelm the skin of products and, and cut. Okay, cool. They're really... 
Am I talking too much? Okay, cool. Powder. Go. <laughs> Go we perfect. actually have one minute left. Yay. I know the clock okay, cool. says any, two minutes and 20 seconds. Any, 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 any questions that we can quickly attend? One question. One last question. Yes. Don't be shy. Yes! Hi, <laughs> girl. We now. <laughs> yeah? um, so I actually do have a question regarding um, skin tint. Yeah. And is that something that Revlon will be veering into? Um, especially we have. I am Ooh, somebody who likes honey. We have. No makeup, makeup look. Surprise, surprise. We have our Illuminant skin tint, which is absolutely divine. It has um, light to medium coverage, so it's a bit more than a BB cream. But also has um, those skin. Um, we have your ginger, uh, um, your ginger root extract that'll help to even your skin tone. But we also have vitamin C and in there. So you definitely find our Revlon counter and get matched. Hands, Go to your nearest click, get matched, and, and, and you'll find your skin. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I, I, I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and. Dance,